subscribe and hit that bell. Hi and welcome to Geekology Reactions. I'm David. I'm Sven. And tonight we're going to be doing another wonderful episode because it will be wonderful. It will be of Star Trek Lower Decks Season 1 Episode 3. So if you've never seen one of our videos before, I'm well not done. quite sure why you jump in in the <laughs> third episode of Lower Decks, but fair play to you. This must be their favourite episode. Um, I'm sure it would be one of There ours, will be a link below episode. for your um, mental health. Yeah, okay. Uh, so we do our reaction videos slightly differently. So we watch the, the episode, we film us, uh, then when we finish the episode, we then review and critique it. And then by the miracles of editing, Sven puts that as the next piece of video footage you will see. After that, if you wish to stay tuned, you can see our reactions to the episode we have just reviewed. Now, if that wasn't clunky enough, I'm then going to add additional data, which, depending on your plan, Picard or Riker could be expensive. So, we do not do picture in picture for our reactions. Sven, tell the nice boys and girls why we don't do that. Don't want to be sued by CBS. Don't want to be sued by CBS. I think it's fair. Yeah. See, we are not in America and there are different rules that apply to us doing things like that. Now, there is a really technical thing you can do where I say now and you play play on your episode at the same time we play play on our episode and therefore we time sync it up. However, we were told we couldn't do that. Why, Sven, did you tell me we couldn't do that? Because you is a well chatty bitch, isn't it? Yeah. I pause episodes <laughs> occasionally to chat. So that doesn't quite work either. So basically our videos are just a hodgepodge of how we want to do it. So enjoy. Okay, so you join us for our review part of the episode. And let me just say now, spoilers. Sorts and sorts of spoilers. Lots of humour that I'm I mean, okay, I admit the innuendo. Was How just dare too you offensive. present me with your wood? Well, no, it was, the, it was the, <clears throat> there was that, but the fact that it was a, a, fit, a fertility symbol. Yes. And yeah, presenting with wood. Wood. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was all good. It was. And the, and, and the fact that 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 first officer is literally Riker with a, with a, mashed with Kirk. Yeah, yeah, it's just all good. It's all good. It's Decker. Is there it's any... Decker. He's Will Decker. Is there any part of these that you're not liking? No. I tell you what, I think annoying for me, genuinely annoying for me. This is the third episode, and yet it's the first episode I noticed the blue uniform, white boot thing. Yes, I don't know why I didn't notice that. that. In the... yeah, but I should have noticed that in like episode one. I miss. I don't know how I missed it. Did we see anybody in a blue uniform from the knee down? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Did you go back and check? No, but <laughs> I, I, I rerunning it in my head. Yes, we did. No. Is there any part of these that isn't working for you that that you're not enjoying? The fact that you are not noticing white boots. <laughs> other than that, that other oh. than that, no. Um, yeah, I'm just. I'm I still think the design of the ship's a bit weird, but all right. You know, considering some of the things that have come out of split in space dock at some point, especially okay. during the war. Just, just, yeah. Curry. Yeah, but I remember what you said about Voyager, so... Fucking flying traveller. Exactly. Um, it could be worse, it could be an Elkins. Let's just make up a secondary hull that's honest come from something else, which actually looks like a squishy. There are a of few the... designs yeah, of Federation ship which make... Why has cringe. this ship got the back end of a, um, a fighter, but blown up to 20 times the time? Okay. <laughs> The shot was nice. Yes. The shot's good. Okay. It's like a cross between the, the medium sized shuttle from, from the Enterprise D and a, and a and runabout. So, would I be right in assuming? <coughs> so, yeah, you know, there is nothing about this show I'm not enjoying. Still, people moaning about it being too fast. People are talking too fast. And I'm like, going, well, fine, go and get your binar um, um, no, drive so you can understand it. It's, no, it's. <laughs> I, I don't. I do not believe that they are. But maybe that's in order to keep 
a quicker pace and keep the episodes. Although I'd be quite happy be for this caffeine. episode to be. I'd be. Ha <laughs> <laughs> I'd be happy for these episodes to be longer. That's what she said. Um, no, I mean it's it's twenty four minutes, including both the intro and the exit. So what you're basically telling me is you need it to last longer. Um, yeah. Yeah, it is. It's just, it is. It's great stuff. Well, you know what? You can watch our reactions to this episode if you just stay tuned. Um, if you have any comments, please put them in the uh, comment section below. And whilst you're uh, fiddling around with all the marvellous settings on YouTube, you should subscribe to us here on YouTube. YouTube. <laughs> You can follow us on both Facebook and Twitter. And while you're on Facebook, you should check out Geekology the Group. That's where we hide all the really nice high-res images of the things we review. Although technically there will be no really high-res images of this because it would be a really high-res image of his face and no one needs to see that. This is very, very true. And to be honest, by the time this comes to you, I might have put them all on Flickr anyway. Anyway, um... This is a Patreon thing. Yeah. Yes. Pop to patreon.com slash geekologyuk. Check out the tears, because you've already yeah, tried. Yeah, trust me, if evidence. you're going to pay for this crap, you yeah, are going to be quite tears. And then don't um, bother following the thing he said. Just follow the link. He will put a link on, so you can go, Bip. can you put a link on? Have I said that and you can't put a link? Uh, probably, yeah, I think it's only at the end. Oh, there you it's go. It's only the end, so. card. It's the end card. But it'd be in the link below as well, because there's going to be loads of links below. So uh, just check out everything, and uh, can we get some money? Basically. So when you say links below, do you mean a lower deck? Yes. Okay. All right. Thank you for watching. Complete with the Bajoran that's got killed. How very jack so are we? <laughs> thank you for watching. Now seat her down. Get on with it. So thank you for watching and good night. Trophies. Congratulations, you look like a f***ing scratching post. <laughs> Turner. Commander. I would appreciate it if you give me a heads up before you file your report. It would give me some extra time to pack up my free weights. There's a ton of them. What report? For stabbing you with a battle blade. That's a guaranteed court-martial. I am not filing a report, actually. But I thought you hated me. You talk about yourself a little too much, but stabbing me, breaking protocol, that was actually pretty cool. Sometimes I forget what Starfleet's all about. Today, you reminded me. Plus, this is going to make a good scar. A great scar. Take her away, boys! Wh wait, what? Why? Because you ignored me when I ordered you to roll down your sleeves. They're against code. The sleeve thing? You're an idiot! <laughs> you just earned an extra day in the brig! Joke's on you, man! I love the brig! I'm going to my favorite place! Next time, I'm going to let somebody kill you! I'm going to dance in your blood! Okay... That was kind of hot. <laughs> Come. This is not good. <laughs> you wanted to see me, Captain? It took the eyes of a child to see what we were blind to today, Boimler. If it wasn't for you, we would still be following every little rule in the book. Wait, is that bad? Because I love rules. We're instituting a new ship-wide mandate, and we're calling it the Boimler Effect. Really? I'm, I'm honored. You should be. The Boimler Effect is about encouraging shortcuts and preventing people from just blindly following the rules. From now on, the crew can build in buffer time whenever they deem fit. Congratulations. Dismissed. Oh, well, hey, how about we add a little thing about how important it is to blindly follow rules if my name is going to be associated with No, them. the Boimler effect is literally the opposite of that. But I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. And it is, is it in ink? Is it already in the system? Is it... Wow, it's on a plaque. Get back to your station <laughs> and do whatever you deem right. I get a whole rule named after me, and it's all about not following rules. Don't worry about it, man. They're always making up new rules no one ever remembers. I'm sure this one will fade, too. Yeah, this isn't something to worry about. No one will remember. Which is why the Boimler Effect is something we will never forget. So named after the laziest, most corner-cutting officer in Starfleet history, Brad Boimler. Seen here with one of the great birds of the galaxy. Anyway, let's move on to somebody even nice. more important. Perhaps the most important person in Starfleet history, Chief Miles O'Brien. <laughs> <laughs> Assignment time! I got conference room cleanup duty in your face! Let's see what I got assigned. Holodeck waste removal. Oh, oh, that's clean.
like on prison stuff. I'm about to go watch an ascension. Oh, like a Q or a The Traveler. Hey, are, are we supposed to join in? Mm -hmm. The all of my coming up with new ways to piss me off. Live long and prosper. Don't you give me that sarcastic book and so long. So, <clears throat> oh, hang on, we have the credits. Certainly makes you wonder how often you're caught humming tunes. Yeah. So, we had several Indurandorous comments, some really good Kirk Spock stuff, shirt ripping. Some yeah, really course. important pointing out of Ah, there are people on the ship with swords and spears and I have a phaser. <laughs> Why are we dying here, guys? <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna die! We live on a spaceship. You're just gonna use the light. <laughs> um so lots of stuff there that is really <laughs> valid. <laughs> and most of us have said at some point in time. <laughs> Why do so many people have their knickers in their nuts about this show? I don't know! I don't know! I don't get it! <laughs> it's <laughs> awesome! It's, it's so tongue-in-cheek and so much is, fun. Is it bad? It's, it's, it's climbing up my list of favourite Trek shows really quite high. <laughs> okay. Because it's like, it's like you take Next Gen and distill it. <laughs> take out the boring stuff. <laughs> I, I personally think the humour is a bit more classic slash Voyager, but it's all good. It doesn't matter. It feels it's, like Next Gen. Oh, yeah. But that's just because they're running around in Next Gen uniforms. So, of course. Generation think, uniforms. Well, yeah, they, Cancelled generation They're the uniforms. proper generation shoes. <laughs> <laughs> I, wow. I do love the idea of the, the overflap. No. I'm shocked that it's got one slight thing that's the same as Monster Maroons. Oh, go God, I can't believe I call them I that liked, now. Um, I <laughs> like... Twok uniforms. Yes, they're twok. Please don't call them Monster Maroons. Monster Maroons! They're not, they're twok. I'm twok. happy with twok. Twok, twok uniforms. Twok works. Twok. The thing was that the Generations uniforms that unfortunately got cancelled, I really like. The look of. I'm I wondering. Very enthusiastic about those. If Playmates Generations figures are suddenly going to shoot up in value. <laughs> no. No, alright, because I want a set of the fucking things now. <laughs> you don't have a set. No. I've got Why do you not have a set of I've Generations got, toys? I've got virtually no action figures at all. Okay. But now that, like, that uniform is really growing on me. It's a good uniform. I want one. This is bad. <laughs> anyway, right. They're available. They are, yeah. I might have one coming. I, d I didn't want to sew one. I if we're time. doing Bloody Another Uniform episode, it's got to be done on my phone in HDR, so that when you hold up the hold up of the uniforms and go, isn't this one so much different from there this is, one? We can tell no, I mean, that this is even one of the Chinese companies that did the you know, knock-off uniforms that have actually gone to the and printed the mm, yeah the same thing. people have already have, have, have done that. Yeah, yeah. uh, and yeah. you know what the funny thing is, I actually already have one of their Picard ones, and I remember telling you how good I thought the quality was for the price, and now I've seen the upgrade. I'm like, oh, I want a proper one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They, they might be the same people who did this one. <laughs> anyway, moving on. I think that might make yeah. it into the bloopers, not the actual review. So I'm let's sure talk about let's talk about the actual episode. So. Welcome to Geekology Reactions. I'm David. I'm Smith. Although technically we should be calling it Review and uh, and Beer Day. Yeah. yeah. But we're not. No. We're just calling it Reactions. And so and I'm David and this is Love Moon Joy. What was How many clicks is that? I can't remember what name you were. something. You're Davey Moonbeam. That was it. And I'm so so so, so, so <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, 